been a long few weeks. Yeah. Monday motivational madness. A crazy good way to start your week. Hola, you amazing artists, and welcome to this Monday Motivational Madness. The only reason that I'm doing this video right now is because we are taking the day off to get our bearings. Um, in case you haven't noticed, I have not groomed my beard, and in fact, not much has happened in the way of like getting groceries and uh, doing anything other than working on the book. That means bathing the house, grooming, cleaning the house, uh, doing anything else. It just has gone out the window. When it comes to projects, I tend to obsess a little bit on what I'm working, especially if I have a deadline or something on it. Like basically it's all I think about right now. I feel like somebody who's been on a boat for a long time and just got onto land. And you know that, that like sea legs feeling that you get. That's how I feel right now. While working on this book, I've been really able to take a look at my own insecurities when it comes to creating. When it's a work of art, and let's say that like there's something off with it, and you're like, oh, I gotta change it. You get to come back to it. You get to look at the entire form of the thing and decide like, okay, what is it that needs to change? What is it that I need to do? Even still, you'll go through those moments in creation. It's just what happens when you're creating where like you look at something and you're like, this is a piece of crap. With the book, however, we're dealing with pages upon pages. There's stuff in there that like you forget about and then you go back and you reread it and you're like, what was I thinking when I wrote this? With this particular book starting in the beginning of the pandemic and then me going through the emotional roller coaster that was the pandemic, there was a lot of stuff in there that I think I quit maybe about 16 times. It was those moments where I would get up and just be like, you know what, I quit. I, I, don't, I, I can't do this anymore. Feeling like an imposter, feeling like you suck and you're not gonna be able to do this right. Feeling all those feelings that come up in your mind at the stick man is like, oh dude, you, you are gonna put this out in the world and everyone is going to hate you. You might be working on it and you're like, God, I don't like this. I don't like the way, the direction that it's going. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. And then immediately you bring someone else into that picture and it becomes this whole thing where like everybody's gonna hate it, everybody's gonna think this, I hate it. So what is it that I do, for example, with this book or the paintings or music or anything like that where I'm sitting there and I'm like, I suck, this sucks, everything sucks, everybody's gonna hate it. I put myself in a position where it is gonna go out there. It's gonna go out there regardless. Like it basically, I don't give myself the option to burn that bridge and be like, you know what, uh, just quit, just forget it, uh, don't even do this. Because I know that a future version of me would be really disappointed in the fact that I didn't follow through, that I didn't complete this, that I didn't finish that painting, that I didn't finish the song that I wanted to work on, that I didn't put it out there. And what that does for me is that no matter what voice is happening in my head that is telling me that I'm gonna suck, you can't do this art show because you don't have anything good, you can't do this, you can't do that, it reminds me that me, who I am right now, has the opportunity to either finish something and put it out there or not. Because if I don't do this, there's nothing I'm going to be able to do about it in the future. I'm not going to be able to be future me and then come back in time and do the project for myself. Like, it's up to me right now, this version of me, to get it done, do it, push through the suck, and put it out there because that's the only way that I'm gonna feel like, yeah, you know what, I did it. Let's say I, I decide that I quit, I can't do this, I don't wanna do this, I'm gonna just give everybody that pre-ordered it a refund and be done with it. I know that I'm gonna be disappointed in myself. I've gotten to a point in my art career that it is much more important for me not to be disappointed in myself than to put something out there that sucks and that people hate. The thing about it is that whether you're working on a painting, whether you're working on music, whether you're working on anything, anything that you're working on that you wanna put out into the world, you're gonna have to push through that emotional garbage. You're going to have to, when it comes to doing a show for the first time, right? The emotional garbage that comes up is that like, nothing you have is any good. Everything you do sucks. This is blah, blah, blah. You know, like all those voices that come up, it is much better to put something out there, to create something, to finish through it, to really push through that. And that feeling that you get when you hit that moment, because you will always hit that moment with something where you're like, I think I've got it. 
I think I've got it. And that's the moment that you want, right? Yes, it's going to suck and it's going to be a roller coaster until you get there, but you will always reach that moment where you're like, I think I've got it. And that's what you want. For my Monday Motivational Madness, and I hope that I'm able to motivate you with this, is just do it. Just do it now so that later on you don't have to look back and say, well, I wish I would have done it. You've got it. You can do it because once you get there, then you don't have to worry about in the future looking back and saying like, I wish I would have done it. I wish I just would have stuck with it a little bit longer. I wish I would have just pushed through it because you don't want to be there. You can't do anything once you're there, but you could do something now, 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 now. And that's it, you guys. So quick update. We are still working on the book. So as far as our recording schedule, uh, we're not back because we're about to finish up the marketing book and we still have the money and workbook left to finish up. Next time, remind me to just work on one book instead of whatever was going on in my brain that was like, hey, why don't we just do three books? So if we're a little quiet on here for the next couple weeks, um, you know that that's what we're doing. Either way, today we're gonna do groceries and clean the house and you know all the stuff that normal people should be doing instead of completely obsessing over a book. So yeah, so wish us luck with that. We haven't been outside for a while, so I'm not even sure I know how to operate uh, out in real land. I want to give a big shout out to our patrons because our patrons have been helping me by contributing some of the sketches that are going to go in the book and they are amazing and it's going to push this book beyond what I even thought it was going to be. I also want to give a big shout out to Wendell Myers, our part-time artist, part-time doctor, went to art school in the 70s and med school in the 80s and is now transitioning to being a full-time artist. His artwork is absolutely stunning you guys need to check him out and thank you guys so much for watching you guys are absolutely freaking amazing i totally adore you and if you like this and you want to watch more like this which this is an update somewhat so you could click right over here and that's it i will talk to you later adios